Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy fresh pico de gallo recipe. Oh yeah. So there's your half an onion. You got to remember now this is for just two people for one meal. Okay. So you have to make it bigger, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make pico de gallo. So there you got your half your onion chopped. Now, for the heat. A lot of people don't like a lot of heat, and that includes my wife. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking a jalapeno, and I'm putting the hot stuff in it, but I'm only putting a little bit of it in there. See what I'm saying? All right, now I got it chopped in a little bitty fine pieces now, and I'm to a tomato. Just chop that tomato up there. Be careful not to cut your finger off like I almost did a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, baby. Chop them things up chunk them in there and then we got to put a little bit of cilantro in there okay so what you do is you chop your cilantro real fine try not to use any stems now there's what she should look like at this point so stir up there a little bit and I think I decided that well looks like I need a little bit more cilantro because you are the one who controls how much of everything you put in it. I'm just showing you the basic pico de gallo recipe. Okay. So there I'm going to add a little bit more cilantro to it. Give it another good little stir. Now I'm going to add some black pepper. About a half a teaspoon. And now your salt. Now that's an important factor in this pico de gallo because... Your salt pulls the juices out of the tomatoes. So now you want to stir it up real good. And then put some fresh lime on there. The juice of a half of a lime is what I'm adding. And there you go, y'all. It's made. Just put a cover on it. Put it in the refrigerator until needed. I'm going to have some fajitas coming up. So I thought I'd make this for y'all. Yeah, baby. Well, everybody, there it is, and I hope you make it. And I also hope you have a wonderbar, wonderbar day.